Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a really exciting haul. You guys know that I love motel rocks. So, well, actually I'm not sure if they're just called motel now. Are they just called motel or motel rocks? I'm not sure because the website's motel rocks, but I think the brand is just called motel. So I'm going to call them motel rocks because that's what their website's called. Um, but yeah, I have a little haul from motel rocks. Safe to say I love the brand, I always wear the little skirt skirts with the slits, I always get asked where those skirts are from, most of them, if not all, are from Motel Rocks, I know that ASOS kind of do some now with little slits in, and Collusion, a brand that's exclusively on ASOS, does those little skirts too, but I'm a really really big fan of them, because I am tiny, I am 5 foot 2, the little slits that they do in their mini skirts really do wonders for my legs, it makes them look so much longer, and it's a lot more flattering for me. If you didn't see my last haul, which I'll leave a card for up here if you fancy watching it, um, I did get a lot of those little mini skirts and I have fallen in love with them. And obviously they've brought some different colours out for autumn, winter, different textures. And I also fell in love with a ton of other stuff on the website that I wasn't intending on buying. But here we are, I am doing a haul with them all today. I am so excited to share this stuff with you. I have not been this excited for a brand in a long time. I just feel like what they're coming out with is stuff that I really like, it's really different, and it's also very reasonably priced. The only thing I would say about Motel is the sizing is so confusing. I said this in my last video. It is so, so, so confusing. In some pieces, a small is really big on me, and then in some pieces, a medium is super tight. And um, I'm not quite sure where I sit in any of the sizing. I actually don't personally think there is any consistency in the sizing throughout the entire website. I have three of the same skirt, the sheeny skirt, which is the skirt with the slit, it's the one I have a lot of different colours in, and in each of them I have an extra small in one, I have a small in the other, and I have a medium. So I have three different sizes in that skirt of different colours, so I don't actually think there's a consistency in the same line, let alone the website in general. Um, so yeah, I think that's enough of an intro really, I just want to get into it. I just have to grab some lip gloss because my lips are dry and it is doing my head in. That is already so much better, oh well. It's already dry lip season and it's barely September guys. Okay, so first off I'm going to start with the dresses because I feel like these excite people the most. These definitely excited me the most when I spotted them online, especially because I went on there not looking for dresses. Dresses is something I don't really look for in autumn, um, really, so when I saw these dresses and I picked up three, no, four dresses, um, they really excited me that much that I actually ordered them and it's basically autumn now. So, the first I had to get is this cow print ruched up dress. Basically it ruches all up the side like that and it has the little ties um, and it's all ruched down the front. It's like a brown cow print. Brown cow stunning, am I right? So I picked this one up in a small, it's the Ardilla mini dress. And I would say that the sizing on this is really strange. So I actually picked up this dress in two different prints. So this is the first one and the material on this is kind of like a, a stretchy cottony material and the small if anything, the small is slightly big on my waist. I do have an hourglass figure and my waist is pretty small compared to my hips. Um, and in, even in the cutaway, which you'll see now, um, it kind of gathers at the stomach. Like I can definitely pull material away like that. Whereas when you look at this dress, you kind of assume bodycon, right? So it's not necessarily the worst thing. Sometimes with these dresses that ruche up, it's kind of nicer to have that extra material to do the ruching with. I just think maybe there's slightly too much ruching material available. It's a little bit, it's a little bit gappy. But then again, it might be extra food baby room or alcohol baby room. So that's not necessarily the worst thing. I really like the fact that on this dress, you literally um, adjust it yourself. So if I do this and I pull that, so basically you can just unruche it. So you can make it the length that you want, which as a small girl, that's, that's absolutely fab as a petite girl because I can really make this the length that I need it. Sometimes, especially from Motel, some of the stuff can be really short. So if you're a taller person who wants to wear this dress, this is a brilliant, brilliant option from Motel because a lot of their stuff does come up very, very short. And this one you can adjust to whichever length you want it and it's quite versatile like that. So for that reason, I really, really do like it. I think the small is, is a good fit for me. Maybe my waist is just slightly smaller than intended. I could try a extra small because the 
material is quite stretchy, um, but I wouldn't want it to be too tight on my boobs and my bum. So I'm quite happy with it in the small, to be completely honest with you. I think that it's really, really good quality. It is not see-through at all. Like the white parts um, are definitely opaque. They're not see-through. Um, and all in all, I just really like this dress. I like the design. I like the features on it, the ruching. And to be honest, the size, I'm pretty sure this is the best size I could possibly get in this dress. So I kind of don't mind it being a little bit baggy. So yeah, I was actually really, really excited about this dress. I just think it's really, really different and it's just something I wouldn't get anywhere else. Okay, this is the case of same dress, different story because I was so confused after trying the cow print dress on because that was the first dress I put on when I ripped over the package. That was the one I was really excited about. This is the, the next one I tried on because I like that fit so much. Um, it is says on here, Ardillo dress, size small. So it is the same dress in the same size. And oh my God, this is so short. Now let me explain. So if I hold this up, basically it has a layer of mesh as you can see here. And then this thing there, that, can you see that? Maybe against here, that is the underlay. So all of this is just literally see-through. And then this is the mesh underlay underneath that stops people from seeing your bum, basically. And the rest is just a see-through mesh. I hope you can see that. That's all see-through. Um, and it's the same like the other dress. You basically just ruche the sides up like this, like that. And you can make it as long or as short as you like it. In general, I love this dress. I love the pattern. It's almost like a geometric leopard print is so different the colors are really nice it's almost like a brown orangey color gorgeous it actually really suits my skin tone love it would look so cute with a blazer like a cream blazer or a cream knit something cozy as well would be really nice with this even on its own with a pair of strappy black heels mm, chef's kiss it is unbelievably short in the cutaway i couldn't even turn around i couldn't turn around in this dress cover like the black lining so to speak the slip did not cover my bum cheek like the bottom of my bum cheek was hanging out and the only thing was just the mesh covering it and the mesh is not opaque it's definitely see-through like you need this black lining that's up here if it didn't have this black lining you would see straight through the mesh and I couldn't turn around in it to show you guys on film and that's on camera so I certainly can't wear this outside I'm really confused it, as why it's so short because I'm five foot two and this is the same dress as the other dress but this just has a really super short lining I have no idea why the lining is so short it is just super super short and I'm five foot two guys like I'm not even leggy or anything so I feel like I would have to reorder this in a medium to try and get a little bit more length but knowing Motel Rocks as a brand I'm not necessarily sure if that's going to happen because they do just make things just a little bit short they're kind of known for doing really short items so I'm not sure if that's just the vibe I'm not sure if you're literally supposed to wear it on literally just the bottom of your bum like that's how short it needs to be I might reorder it in a medium just because I love the pattern so much and I think the dress itself is super flattering like the cow print one super flattering and in general like, I really do like the dress it's just really disappointing that they didn't make the slip just a little bit longer I'm not even sure what the, who this would fit maybe a quite a slim person who's maybe my height or shorter this would probably fit any taller than that I do not know how you would wear this dress with half your bum hanging out so a bit disappointed about that and I will be sending this one back but I may reorder it in a medium because it is just that gorgeous next up we have this tiger dress and I really really like this dress guys you probably see me in the cutaway beaming a little bit because this dress is absolutely gorgeous on it is so flattering I have no idea why it just is there it doesn't have any ruching or anything like the other dresses which can end up being a little bit more flattering so you can like ruch it over all your lumps and bumps and stuff but this one is basically just a almost like a bodycon a-line it's not necessarily bodycon it's not necessarily a-line it's sort of in between and it's really really super flattering i thought i'd pick this up because it has lovely rust tones for autumn and i think this again would look so cute with a little white fluffy cardi and maybe a black blazer like two different looks like day to night and I really also like this little tie up at the front. The sleeves are lovely and puffed. And this material, this mesh, is actually the same mesh material. I don't know if you can see. Maybe I can show you like this. There's like a slip inside, like a black slip. 
again inside and this mesh lies over the top of that and I have no problem at all with the length on this. I think the length on this is actually a really nice length on me. And here, the mesh goes all the way to the bottom. Sorry, the underlay goes all the way to the bottom here. So you don't have any problems with your bum hanging out. So it makes me even more disappointed about the leopard print one. But at least this one is super cute. I just love the tiger print. I love the colour. And I think this one was a small, so yeah, this one was a small as well, and I think that it fit really nicely. The arms weren't too tight, they've got a really nice amount of elastic on it. The back also has elastic around it. In general, this is a super comfy dress. It is stretchy, it has a lot of give to it, it accommodates the gels, it accommodates the bum, and I feel like, in general, like, I think this was so much more fluttering than I thought it would be. Plus, you also have a little bit more coverage, so it covers your chest a little bit with a little bit of a peekaboo. And then the wide neckline is also really cute as well. And I think this would look so nice. Again, with strappy black heels and a blazer, I feel like that would be such a cute look for an autumn date, especially with all these rust tones going through here. Okay, so straight up, I've already reordered this dress in a larger size. This one's in a small, but I've reordered it in a medium. It just hasn't arrived yet, and I was hoping it would arrive so I could do a trial on to show you guys the difference in sizing. But it hasn't arrived yet. But um, you would probably have seen this on my Instagram. I absolutely love, love, love this dress. I think it's gorgeous. I think the only problem with me picking up this dress in particular in a size small is the fact that it's got built-in cups and I have melons and they don't exactly get on. It's definitely a case where the lining of the cups was like sitting, that's my natural undercup. It was kind of sitting on my boob because they're just too big for this dress it's a shame because the rest of the dress fits really nicely around my body it's literally just the boob aspect that i had issues with i'm hoping when the medium comes it will fit a little bit better on the chest and it won't be too baggy everywhere else but i think it will be okay because the material itself um isn't too stretchy it's a little bit stretch it's got a little bit of give um, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it fits really nicely because this one fits so nicely. It has a slit of the side here. This one is not for the faint hearted. It's definitely a high thigh slit. It goes all the way up the thigh, um, but it does look adorable. I love the fact that the lace as well um, goes up the slit, like the detail there is really nice. The pattern itself is gorgeous. It is also mesh, like the other dresses. It's got an underlay here. Um, like a slip and then the rest is mesh that lies over the top of it which I think is really flattering to be honest with you I just love the colours it's kind of like that autumn-y romantic vibe I just couldn't help myself the romantic rusty autumn vibes were there and I just think it looks gorgeous with a chunky knitted cardi I think it looks so cute and the colour itself is gorgeous Okay, so next up is the only shirt I bought, and I ended up buying this shirt on its own, even though I really wanted the skirt to match it, but the skirt has been out of stock for ages, like ever since it dropped, the skirt has been out of stock. I have had notifications on for this skirt since it sold out in my size, and it just hasn't come back. So Motel, if you're watching this, please bring out the matching skirt to this shirt, and I will be forever grateful. It is a gorgeous chocolate brown, I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to see that, maybe like this, chocolate brown zebra print satin shirt are you gonna be able to see the detail there maybe you might be able to see better on the cutaway now but um it is gorgeous it is the most stunning chocolate brown almost like bowling style shirt if you can see like it just does up here um and it's not like it doesn't does it doesn't do up to the top like a formal shirt it kind of does up here it's like a bowling shirt and it's got lovely wide sleeves it's very boxy it is very androgynous. I love it. As soon as I put it on, I was like, yes, 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 yes. I love it. I picked this one up in a small, I'm glad I did because it is very oversized. You'll probably see on the cutaway, but it's so big that I can tie it up. It is very, very big. Very, very long on me if I hold it up to me. It comes down to lower than my mid thigh and I'm again five foot two, so it's very, very long. I would suggest not sizing up in this because it is already oversized. It's already very, very oversized. Um, not that I'm complaining, I love this just on its own kind of open, I think it looks really cute and I also love it tied up, I think tied up it also looks so nice. I think it would look nice tucked into a pair of like cream denim, like cream jeans, maybe white jeans. I feel like you could wear this with a lot of different things and because it's got that really subtle zebra print, it's got a little bit of something different. So the fact that it's quite dark um, is offset by the detail when you look really closely and the shimmer of the zebra print. I absolutely love this. I really, really, really want the skirt to come back in stock so I have a matching set. Please, Motel, bring it back. 
in a size small, I need it in my life. Now you guys know I'm a sucker for motel skirts, but really hot, I outdid myself. I really, really did. <laughs> Okay, so the first skirt I'm going to talk about is this one, just because it was a little bit of a dud. Um, again, with the motel sizing, I just, I don't even, I don't even know what size I am. I picked this up in a small because I'm sort of, the so small is like the middle size for me in motel rocks. I have some skirts that are extra small, some skirts that are medium. I'm a size 10 UK, if I haven't said already. Um, so I picked up a size small in this, and it it is so tight. It's like a tube skirt. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit looser, like so I could like ruch it up a little bit. But it is definitely like a tight tube bodycon skirt. I think I just got the wrong size. I think I need a medium in this. It is very stretchy. If I show you, hold on. It is very very stretchy, uh, but also not in a good way because the the waistband is quite. Um, elasticated but also springs back so it can really dig into rolls and stuff which just makes me feel all in all a bit uncomfortable the rest of it is also really nice though i love the pattern i love the mesh i love the color and i love the hemline if you can look if you can see down here it's like a mesh hemline as well it's almost like scallop but not really really like it it's got the same sort of thing where it's got a lining, like a lot of their mesh items, I guess, have this lining in. And I didn't have an issue with how short the mesh was underneath this time. It's actually a really good length. I think in general, I just needed to size up in this one. It doesn't accommodate well for curves. So if you're like me and you have maybe a little bit of a pouch or um, some rolls, or you have a bigger bum, bigger size, um, size up if you're not sure, because this one is pretty tight. Um, and I will be sending it back because even though I love the pattern, I absolutely love it. Um, it's just not very comfortable. It's just, just that little bit too tight that it just makes me feel uncomfortable. So yeah, I will be sending this one back, but I do absolutely love the print. I think it's gorgeous. While we're on the topic of duds, I think I'm going to be sending this one back as well. They have quite a few black croc print skirts on their website. And I ordered them all a few weeks ago before I did this order. Um, in a size small so I ordered all of the crop print black skirts on their website in a small and I was like I'm gonna try them all I'm gonna find the one I love and that will be my black croc skirt for autumn winter done and dusted they all arrived and they were all tiny they were all so small some of them I couldn't even zip up which is so confusing again with the motel sizing because I have so many skirts from them you can like watch in my last haul um, and they're all a size small and they all fit perfectly if anything they're a little big so I have no idea what's going on in terms of sizing um, but when I went back to order them all again in a medium they'd all gone out of stock and this was the only one left available in a size medium so I kind of just had no choice but to pick this one up and unfortunately I will be returning it it is just too long on me I really really love the cut out here because it has I don't know if you can tell but it actually doesn't meet like they don't sit and meet each other there's actually a notch cut out like a triangle cut out so it's constantly split it's not one of those skirts that you have to walk to see the split it's just constantly split which I actually really really like I also love the material I think it's really really good quality I think it would last a long time I don't actually think that this would wear away very easily maybe in a few washes but if you washed it on like a delicate wash I think it would actually be fine it's not too hard as well because some um I guess like leather or croc print skirts you get are quite um hard but if I go like this you'll see like it's just very fluid very comfortable the medium actually fits quite nicely I think I'm dead in between a small and medium in this style skirt I don't know if it's the material I don't know what it is but the croc style skirts I feel like I'm in the middle of a small to medium uh, but I just think maybe this skirt the cut just isn't for me maybe that's what it is I don't know but I will be sending this one back just because on my body it just kind of just it looks too long if you're taller than me maybe five foot five and above this will probably be a normal length on you and it would look really nice but I think for us petite girls maybe it's not the one so this is actually a crop crop print skirt that's what I'm going to call them because they do have a few different styles on the website and I picked this one up believe it or not wait I should probably put this on the hanger the right way around so I can actually show you guys what it looks like I'm a mess today guys, wow really. So this one has been sold out on the website for quite a long time. I will link everything down below so hopefully um, some stuff has come back into stock so you guys can shop it but definitely keep checking back and you can also turn notifications on on the website to see when stock's back up. 
Um, but I ended up buying this one on Depop. Um, I got it for slightly cheaper than it was on the website because someone ordered it and they were like five foot ten and they were like this is so short on me so much so that when i messaged asking if it was still available they were like yes huns but how tall are you because this is short and i was like oh i'm like five foot nothing and they were like oh that's fine i'm five foot ten and it just didn't fit me so i ended up getting a really good bargain on this dress i think i got it like 10 pounds off the retail price and it literally came in perfect condition obviously i washed it and stuff when it came um and it hasn't like affected it at all it looks really really nice um, and this one has the same sort of thing where there's a notch cut out. This one's even bigger than the black skirt. It has an even bigger notch cut out. So it's not necessarily like a slit. It's like a full on notch that's been cut out of the material. But I think it's so nice. It's super soft. Like it's, it's super soft. It doesn't feel how it looks. It doesn't feel um, very heavy or um, like leathery at all. It is like suede. -y. It's like really nice and soft. And I just think the colour is perfect for autumn. I think even with a jumper like this, with this tucked into it, would look super cute, right? I think that I'm going to be able to style this with loads of different knits. Um, and even blazers and little crop tops maybe underneath and stuff like that. And even in, like, going into the winter, I think you could style this with a really light tight, like a 20 dernier. Dernier? Dernier. I think that would be really nice in some chunky boots. So I'm really, really happy with this one. If I didn't say already, I got this one in a medium because the smalls... I feel like in this kind of leathery type material, um, I just think that they're a bit tight. They're maybe made a little less generously than the other skirts they do at Motel Rocks. So from now on, I'll be ordering this kind of material in a medium because I know my size in it now. Um, it's just the weirdest thing having to order things in all different sizes in Motel Rocks, but at least I know what size I am in these skirts now. And I really, really like it. I love this one. Next up we have some more cow print. I love this skirt. I got it on the sale on the website as well. Um, it is the Pe Pelmo skirt, um, which is a skirt I haven't tried before. This is a skirt style on their website that I don't have. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't have any slits in the bottom, which is probably one why I wouldn't have bought it previously. But um, it was actually in the sale for like eight pounds off or something. So I thought I would pick this one up because I just love the cow print vibes. And it is so cute in real life. I think that even again with just a jumper tucked in and some chunky boots, it's so casual, but it makes such a statement. I know cow print is a love or hate thing for people, but I really, really like it, especially going into autumn winter. I just think the tones are perfect to add um, lilacs, blues, tans, blacks, whites, like you can wear this print with a lot of different colors and it really creates an impact and it's something that says that you're definitely someone who's brave in terms of style and adventurous and I really really like the, the print of this one. I think in terms of sizing I got small in this one and it fits pretty much spot on in a small which confuses me even more because this is another skirt that I fit in in a small and the other skirts I need in a medium and uh, but this one in a small fit really well. I'm just really happy I managed to get this one in the right size and I really like the way it looks and I can't wait to wear it for autumn winter. Last but not least, we have a little surprise because I picked this one up and I was like, mm, I might like it because I bought that zebra print shirt and I was like, if that's got like dark brown and zebra, I might look like this because it's dark brown and zebra. So I picked this one up um, and it has a super, super high slit. Can you see that? It's got like, it's really high, like it's a very, very high slit. Again, not one for the faint hearted. This thigh slit goes all the way up, but I love it. I love it. I really love it. I featured this one on Instagram as well and you guys really, really liked it. And I was also so surprised that I liked it this much. Like the print itself in person, I don't think is as nice as in the pictures. I'll show you guys closer up in a moment. But um, I'm pretty sure this is the sheeny skirt. Schenker is the Schenker skirt. So I actually have this one in a satin print, I think. Yeah, so I have what, another one of these skirts and I bought this one in a small and it fits pretty much spot on as a small as well. Um, and yeah, there's not much else to say about it other than it is zebra print. It is out there. It is something really, really different and I will be styling it like all my other skirts with probably like a chunky cardi or a chunky jumper like this one. It is very, very different and um, I'm actually really excited to get some good wear out of it. I just think it's such a different piece that you wouldn't get anywhere else. And again, it's got the thigh slits, which I really, really, really like. I think that if you are tall, this might be a bit short on you. But like with all this motel stuff, I would suggest buying everything in a load of different sizes just to see which fits best. 
So that's the pattern there. Oh, there we go. I think you can see a little better. Like that. It's kind of got some like light brown patches running into the dark brown. It's not as nice as I thought it would be, but I still think that it is pretty cute for the price. Okay, guys, that is everything in my Motel Rocks haul. I am so happy with a lot of it. I think that like with any Motel Rocks haul I'll ever do, I will always complain about the inconsistencies in terms of sizing. It's just annoying more than anything. Like it's just annoying to have to reorder things and reorder things. And by the time things arrive, they've sold out in the size that you need. It does my head in a little bit, but I love the pieces. I think the designing, the styling of the whole brand um, is spot on and I really, really like it. I think my favorite pieces are actually the cow print pieces. I think that they are so different. I love, love, love the pattern. I love the style of both of those pieces as well. Really cool. I love the zebra print chocolate shirt and I also love the skirt that I picked up on Depop because I couldn't find it in my size, um, which is the tan crop print skirt. I just think it's really different and it has some really nice autumny tones as well. I think everything in this haul has very autumny tones. I can't wait to wear a lot of it and integrate it into my autumn winter wardrobe and get some of those warm tones, some of those neutral tones out. I'll probably be styling a lot of this stuff going into like pre-fall into fall with pastels and then going into winter probably with some more like neutrals and stuff just to balance everything out. But um, I, I really like the pieces that I did like and then some of them I will have to um, return. But I think that's always the case with Motel Rocks. There's always gonna be at least one thing that doesn't fit. But yeah, I'm really happy that I've got some great pieces that I'm going to get some really good wear out of for autumn. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite piece in the haul was. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.